In Oklahoma, a woman is in jail after she managed to slip out of her handcuffs in the back of a police car, obtain an AR-15, and open fire on sheriff's deputies, according to local police. The shocking moments were captured on the car's internal camera and police body cams. On Friday, Grady County Sheriff's deputies performed a welfare check on a woman found crawling around someone's yard while barking, according to the charging documents filed in court. The woman identified herself as 36-year-old Rachel Zion Clay. Police handcuffed her and placed her in protective custody in the back of a police car, according to the court documents. But while deputies were outside the car taking statements from civilians nearby, Clay managed to slip out of her cuffs and access a console in the front seat labeled gun, the undersheriff said in an interview. They say she was then able to load around into the chamber and fire outside the vehicle. Body camera footage released by police show moments shots ring out. Ow! Confusion as deputies try to figure out what just happened. Danny, I'm hit right here. One civilian receiving a wound to the chest, he's later taken to the hospital, according to NBC affiliate KFOR, while the sheriff's deputy is only grazed by the bullet. As the deputies and the wounded bystander take cover and call for backup, more shots ring out. Got a civilian hit. What the heck? Law enforcement expert Cheryl Dorsey weighing in on the incident. Sometimes women are smaller frame and they have uh, the ability to slip their hands through the cuff, even though the cuff may itself be locked. With the arrival of backup begins an hours long standoff as Clay barricades herself in the police car, refusing to emerge. After three and a half hours of negotiations with police and the deployment of an armored breaching vehicle, the woman finally surrenders. If it means saving a life, you take as much time as you need in order to bring this tactical situation to a successful conclusion. Court documents from her arraignment on Monday include notes she allegedly managed to write while barricaded, revealing her disturbed state of mind. Efforts to reach Clay were unsuccessful, and she was not represented by an attorney at her initial court appearance. And it was a compilation of errors. I get that uh, you want to have easy access to a, 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 a AR-15, but not when you have a suspect in your vehicle. Another officer could have and should have been monitoring visually the suspect who was seated behind the car. Clay was charged with three counts of shooting with intent to kill and according to court documents is currently being held on $1 million bail.